and here's why you shouldn't invest. All right, guys, what's going on? It's your boy. We're back at it again with another YouTube video. My name is Carlos, and I'm a, fin a finance and mindset YouTuber. If you guys enjoyed the video that you're about to watch, make sure to like and subscribe. It means the absolute world to me. And we're here to drop some tips on what made me a better person, what made me track my finances better, and things that helped me overall on the track to becoming a millionaire. Now, those that have not watched my channel or have not watched my channel consistently know that I'm on a journey to becoming a millionaire by 25. And we will be tracking this journey by recording these videos and stuff like that. And you guys are going to see it live on like the different things that's going on in my head, in my journey. And I just kind of share those things with you guys. But yeah, in this video, we're going to talk about why you shouldn't invest at a young age. Now, it's some, I know it sounds like the absolute worst idea. And I'm going to break down what I mean by invest. But you guys are probably like, this guy is dumb. And no, I have invested. I do have investments. But you guys should not be investing safely. And now this caters way more to the younger audience, by the way. Uh, if you're older with kids, obviously risks are definitely not something you should be putting as heavily on yourself. Because, you know, you kind of have to pay the bills next month. But yeah, this video is more catered towards the younger audience and it's going to explain why the stock market and even some crypto is a bad idea to invest in. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first reason why you shouldn't invest is because the growth is too slow. You have a part time, full time job. You're a teenager that just got out of high school. You're a college student, whatever. You're making maybe 500 a week off this nine to five, a normal person, um, not including if you have a business or something, which we also talk about in this video. But yeah, you're making what, 500, 600, uh, 650 maybe after tax. And you don't want to be spending, to, if you're good at saving money at first point, you don't want to be putting 250 in your stock account like well the rule is 10% so you don't want to be putting you know 10% of 500 like it's not gonna grow into something that's livable now remember we want to become millionaires by 25 and I know that sounds very hard but gaining 6% a year maybe if the stock market has a good year that year uh, a lot of us haven't experienced a bearish year yet but yes, the stock market can be negative for a whole year. And we haven't, uh, as younger people, we haven't really experienced a bearish year yet, but it, it happens where the stock market is overall negative for the year. Now, a lot of people think, oh, bro, you just invest into like Neo or something or Tesla. Now, that's not what I'm talking about. That's kind of gambling with a little bit of uh, knowledge, but I'm talking about the S&P, Apple, Facebook, stuff like that if you're investing i'd say 80 dollars out of your check um uh, every two weeks so 160 a month right that's not gonna get you nowhere in the in the uh short term maybe in the long term i'd say you'd be able to retire by 50 if you're investing and not to mention you make at least six percent every year which probably won't happen by the way um but yeah, the growth is just way too slow to, to be investing safely and stuff like that. You can easily take that money, start your own business, fail a bunch, and then grow exponentially like crazy. Now the next thing, like I said, you're making 500 a week. Let's just put the number at 500. You should be focusing on making 1,000 a week, 2,000 a week before you even think about investing. Am I telling you to just blow your money every week on useless ideas? No. Um, you're probably already blowing your money trying to look rich anyways. You don't like to hear that, and you're probably going to write a hate comment for that. But yeah, you're trying to look rich. You're not rich. You're poor. You're a loser. And yeah, that car you have, I know you're paying that crazy car note too. Because uh, I was like that. I had a car. Um, I used to want all the fancy things, all the nicest sneakers. You're just looking. You look rich. That's it. 
those are the people that ask me for a dollar the most. The ones with the nicest sneakers and stuff, they're the ones that ask me for a dollar, which is kind of embarrassing, by the way. But yes, you should you should be definitely focusing on multiplying your income. Find a way to reinvest your money, find different business ideas, and double that income. Once you can double that income, now, next thing you know, you're starting to buy yourself something called time, and time is the most valuable asset to your life. If you're making 500 a week and you somehow turn it into a thousand a week without a promotion from your job, if your job, by the way, promotes you to a thousand a week, I don't know what type of job you got, you need to put you on, put me on. But yeah, you turn 500 into a thousand a week, right? What you can do is one or two things. Turn that thousand into well, 1500 a week by keeping that nine to five or eliminate the eight hours out of your day. Go down to 500 a week now with this new idea you have. And now you just purchased yourself some time that can in return purchase you way more assets, way more knowledge to turn that 500 back into a thousand off your just your business ideas and then turn it to 2000, 3000, 10,000, 20,000 and so on. If you're investing, you're putting your money into this um, little stock or whatever, and you're just you're just slowly growing instead of exponentially growing. And the third tip is, like I said, putting your money into different projects. I, uh, as of right now, am running a clothing brand. This is the clothing brand right here. And it is turning into an income very, very slowly for me. Is it livable? Really not. Definitely not. No. Answer is no. Definitely not. I am having a crap ton of fun though. I am learning a crap ton of knowledge though. And one day it'll turn into a crap ton of money. I'm learning digital marketing, how to produce clothing, how to manufacture clothing, how the clothing industry works, so on and so forth. And it's teaching me skills that I'm eventually going to use into different projects one day. Learning how to run e-commerce, I feel like that's a really good thing people should get into. E-commerce stores, and I'm not talking about drop shipping. I'm talking about online stores, you know, building a brand online. Using a physical product that you can bring towards the world online. And not only physical product, service too. If you can offer a service, bring it into an online store. You're going to get sales, I promise you. But yeah, turning your money into different projects, investing it into different pro sorry it's a different project is also very important towards your uh, career and it's very vital to your success now I'm gonna flip the switch here and I'm gonna give you guys some tips that are uh, that also involves with investing I am not saying not to invest right at the end of the day we become rich but to keep ourselves wealthy we do need to invest some way into the stock market at some point of our lives the crypto market some type of uh, super passive income to uh, fully become rich and wealthy. I'm not saying not to invest. Now, the next tip is actually to build the habit of investing. Now, am I saying to invest 30, 40% of your check? No, don't. I really, really believe you should be investing that money into projects. The tip I have for you though is to learn how to build that habit of money discipline, knowing where your money goes and never saving we don't save over here we don't save putting that money into an investment very small chunks of it just build that habit so that when you are wealthy you can you know have that and also continuously learning continuously building knowledge and trying to find different business ideas to invest into is also very important towards your success because you always need to learn you always need to be a student of the game and you always need to be building knowledge now with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my clothing brand. Link in the description. If you like streetwear, this is definitely the clothing brand for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.